How to kill all the weeds in your lawn. Hey guys, I'm Stacy from Trim That Weed, and today we're gonna be learning how to kill all the weeds in your lawn. Watch until the end of the video for important gardening tips. A beautiful lawn is a work of art. It attracts the right vibe to your home. However, it can be frustrating seeing weeds after doing all that work of seeding, watering, mowing, and fertilizing. Weeds are an inevitable part of your garden or lawn, but it does not have to be this way with the right weeding techniques. Examine your lawn for weeds. This may sound obvious, but we are getting somewhere with this. Yes, I understand you can see visible signs of weeds in your lawn, but are you aware of what you are dealing with? There are various types of weeds that can attack your garden, and this necessitates different treatment plans. The first type of weeds that can attack your lawn is the broadleaf. Under the category, we have weeds like clover, dandelions, and creeping charlie, commonly known as ground ivy. Perennial grassy weeds will be the dormant during winter, only for them to reemerge during the spring. Their main way of spreading is through the seeds and roots. Then, we have annual grassy weeds like crabgrass spreads through reseeding themselves at the end of their growing seasons. In spring, these seeds germinate and you have more crabgrass. Pull them out. This is the old-fashioned way of removing weeds, simply pull them out from the roots. You should get some good pair of gloves for this. Once you have uprooted the weeds, it is recommended that you fill the empty spot with some grass seeds to prevent another weed from growing on the same spot. For some plants, you will need to just remove the top part, as that is where their seeds are. Once you pull out the top part of the weed, you can prevent it from reseeding. Chemical treatment. First, identify the weed type. Depending on the type of weeds you have, the chemical treatment will vary. It is recommended you get the right herbicide and carefully follow the prescribed instructions while wearing the right protective materials. The kind of herbicides you use should be safe for the environment and should not destroy the soil ecosystem. For weeds like broadleaf, you will need to spot treat the weeds with the use of small trigger controlled sprayers. If you have larger traces of broadleaf weeds, then you can use a tank sprayer, which is more efficient. For perennial weeds, you may need to dose each with a herbicide solution one by one. Wear protective gloves when doing this. For crabgrass, control can be done through a pre-emergence preventer, which can be applied during the first and third mowings in spring. Since most of the preventers are available as granules, you may need a spreader for this. Once crabgrass emerges from your lawn, you can either treat the clumps with post-emergence crabgrass killer, let the grass grow until the following spring, then use the preventer, or hand pull the clumps to prevent them from reseeding. When you are killing weeds, it is recommended that you begin with the broadleaf weeds first. If you take a closer examination of the herbicides in the market, you will note that the broadleaf herbicides are the cheapest and most available. The herbicide can also be used for other varieties of weeds. Once you purchase the herbicide, apply it as we stated above, then give it two weeks for full results to be manifested. Once two weeks have elapsed, examine your lawn again. If the herbicide was effective, you will notice some browning weeds. If some have not died, do a second application of the herbicide. After application, you may find some other weeds that have remained in small numbers. This you can easily pull off with your hand or look for a specific herbicide for them. Take note that most of the broadleaf herbicides in the market will kill your buffalo lawns. This means you need to be extra careful to get a herbicide suitable for use of buffalo lawns. Right mowing heights. To help prevent weeds from appearing on your lawn, you also need to ensure you mow your lawn to the right height. For climate grasses, the heights are as follows. Chewing hard, red fuses, one to one half to two and a half inches. Bent grass, one fourth to three fourth inches. Tall fescue, one to one and a half to three inches. Perennial ryegrass, one and one half to three inches. Kentucky bluegrass, one and one half to three inches. Warm climate grasses. Bermuda grass, a half to one inch. Bahia grass, two to three inches. Blue grama grass, two to three inches. Centipede grass, one to two inches. Buffalo grass, two to three inches. Zoiza grass, a half to one inches. St. Augustine grass, one to three inches. Smother them. Weeds can either be growing upward or downward, and at times the best way to stifle their growth is to smother them with some biodegradable cloth or newspapers. This denies them of nutrition, air, and sunlight, and stops their growth. Other gardeners have used sugar solutions and applied to weeds to weaken the weed root and prevent them from accessing the right amount of nitrogen essentials for their growth. Other concoctions gardeners have used have included bleach, baking soda, alcohol, vinegar, boiling salt water, cornmeal, oil, and citrus juice. Prevent weeds from sprouting with pre-emergent herbicide. 
You can prevent weeds from gaining a foothold into your garden by using a pre-emergent herbicide. This will prevent any germination of weed seeds. It is recommended to not use any pre-emergent herbicides where you plant to sow the seeds as this will prevent them from germinating. Timing is very critical when you are preventing weeds from germinating. Attack the weeds early on the growing seasons when they are still small and young. For annual weeds, to not give them the space to flower as they will become very stubborn later on. Once they do flower, do not give them space to disperse seeds. Picture this. One curly dog plant can produce 100 to 60,000 seeds while surviving for more than 17 years. The dandelion weed can produce on average of 15,000 seeds and live up to six years in one soil. Weed problem in late fall or early spring. During these seasons, the presence of perennial weed will tempt you to get a herbicide and destroy them as they start appearing green, but don't be fooled by them. What happens is when the temperatures are low, plants may be not actively growing. It is also the same during the hottest summers. It is a waste of time and money to treat weeds during their times of dormancy. Instead, be patient and watch out for new leaf formation, then apply your herbicide. The most effective time to take out Bermuda grass and dandelions is early fall or late summer. This is best because the plants are just about to enter their dormancy stage. The herbicide is also very effective at this time as it premates into the roots, hence killing the weeds. Watch out for other weeds like crabgrass, which when they mature, the leaves will develop some hard coating which protects the plants from the herbicide. You may be fooled that the herbicide is working, but it is not as the weed continues to grow, as the chemicals cannot permeate into the leaves. To be effective, you can try to crumple or crush the leaves so that the herbicide goes into the leaves. Effective tools for weeding. When it comes to weeding, you need to come prepared with the right amount of tools. For young weeds, seeding hose and tin cultivators are most effective. If the weeds are hidden in between paver stones, then short knives will do the trick. You can also try out dandelion weeders. Additional weeding tips. To spray one weed, cut a hole in a large plastic container and push the weed leaves into it. Then, wearing gloves, apply the herbicide on the weed. Once the herbicide has dried, now remove the plastic container. To ensure pinpoint accuracy when applying herbicide, use glove or paintbrush for a specific leaf. Try as much as possible to prevent the herbicide from coming into contact with your skin. When you are spraying weedy vines in your garden, you need to be extra careful not to harm your plants. To do this, begin by cutting the plant at soil level, then insert a short stake near the vine base. You will notice that as the vine starts re-sprouting, it will climb on the stake you have installed. When you notice that vine growth is almost reaching that of the stake, slip on an open-ended plastic bag over the weed. Now is the time to remove the stake and spray that vine inside your plastic bag, avoiding removing the bag until the herbicide has completely dried up the foliage. What has been your experience with weeds? Are there herbicides you have used that are very effective in killing weeds? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. See you on the next one.